He is as prominent and anonymous as a man can be. He bags groceries, and yet he is so well known that he is commonly referred to with one name. Tonight on Only in Indiana, Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader and photographer Joel Clausen introduce the rest of us to Kenny. After 25 years, they have this routine down. Since he can't drive, dad or mom dropped Kenny Newell off at work, and after 25 years, he still can't wait to get there. So they keep you busy? Oh, yes. I love it. Kenny is a bagger at O'Malley's Supermarket in Carmel, but to say he is a bagger would be a gross disservice to a man who's made service his life. But my parents don't like having birthdays in April. You want to know why? Why? They're too close to income tax time. <laughs> my mom has a chicken recipe, and it's called Chicken Simon and Garfunkel because it has parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme in it. No, Kenny will enchant you with jokes, regale you with stories. Are you having a good week? Or impress you with his pace. You see, at age 51, Kenny lives life at a trot. I'm sorry. I know I, I, I knew you were waiting for me, so I took extra slow. He's a ray of sunshine. Well, if you give me your address sometime, maybe my mom, I'll ask my mom to write down a recipe for you. Well, if you'd ask her to write down, just put it in your pocket. Oh, okay. I'll try to do that. In this case, the customer has a cold, and since every customer is a regular customer to Kenny, he's working on the remedy. He is as observant as he is curious. How's your husband? He's doing good. That's good. Yeah. I'm working hard in the yard. Oh, wow. Leaves and all that stuff. Oh, man, I'm tired of leaves. I don't even rake them, and I'm tired of them. <laughs> It's fun. It, I, I, I feel very blessed. I'd be lost without a, my job. Quite a statement from a man who was struck by a car at the tender age of three and then told after he awoke from a two-week coma that he might never walk. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And yet here he is on his break, strolling for change in the parking lot, even checking out the trash cans. <laughs> I look crazy doing it and checking these places sometimes, but I don't care. <laughs> He gives it to his sister for his niece's college fund. Oh, and to make it more interesting for my sisters, when I do find paper money, I put the date on it and where I found it. After the break, I thought I'd get a quick word in, but... Oh, excuse me, please. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Love that guy. The accident has left him with the ability to only see out of one eye at a time. A kind of tunnel vision, as he describes it. And he has trouble with the balance, but... I'm very blessed. <laughs> God has been good to me. <laughs> good to see you. He has amassed a loyal following. Well, how's your family doing? They're awesome. Customers say he is as well known as the mayor and maybe more popular. But be careful if they break the yoke and be on you. Will you do me a big favor? Have a great day. Kenny may be struggling with balance in his life. We all do. <laughs> but he's found his calling. Have a great day. How many of us can say that? It's good to see you. How have you been? Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. <laughs> Said Kenny's just being Kenny. Yeah, Kenny loves his customers, and they seem to really love him, too. That's right. It's well, nice. Kevin Rader told you that story and brought it to you, and he's always looking for more stories yeah. just like that that are uniquely Indiana. He's looking for story ideas, and if you have one, be sure to email it to him at krader at wthr.com. Yeah, maybe you'll be on our newscast yeah. sometime soon.